I think those uh, programs were absolutely essential to the success we enjoyed of uh, being able to collect the intelligence that let us defeat all further attempts to launch attacks against the United States since 9-11. Programs were absolutely essential to the success we enjoy. We must collect the intelligence that led us to defeat all further attempts to launch attacks against the United States since 9 11. I think that's a great success story. Uh, it was done legally, it was done in accordance with our constitutional practices and principles. Practices and principles. Uh, practices and principles. Uh, practices and principles. Uh, I would say um, that the, the key to what we did was to collect intelligence against the enemy. Uh, that's what the terrorist surveillance program was all about. That's what the enhanced interrogation program was all about. But, uh, the report was written based upon the intelligence that we collected then that itemizes the specific attacks that were stopped by virtue of what we learned through those programs. details of it without violating classification, but I can say there were a great many of them. Uh, the one that, that has been public was the, uh, uh, potential attack uh, coming out of Heathrow, when you were going to have several American planes uh, with terrorists on board, liquid explosives, and they were going to blow those planes up over, I think, uh, part of the difficulty here is I look at, at what the Obama administration is doing. We made a decision after 9-11 that I think was crucial. We said this is a war. It's not a law enforcement problem. Up till 9-11, it was treated as a law enforcement problem. We were find the bad guy, put him on trial, put him in jail. The bad guy, the bad guy, put him on trial, put him in jail. city and find the identification, take off the truck, and go find the guy that ran the truck, put him in jail. Once you go into a, a wartime situation, it's a strategic threat, then you use all of your assets to go after the enemy, go after the state sponsors of terror, places where they've got sanctuary. You know, intelligence resources, your military resources, your financial resources, everything you can in order to shut down that terrorist threat against you. When you go back to the law enforcement mode, which I sense is what they're doing, closing Guantanamo and so forth, um, that they're very much giving up that center of attention and focus that's required and that concept of a military threat that's essential to be successfully defend the nation against further attack. said in the past that it was, quote, pretty well confirmed. No, I never said that. Okay. I never think said that is... That's absolutely not. It's been pretty well confirmed that he did go to Prague and he did meet with uh, a senior official of the Iraqi Republic.